Royal Chervinia, or more famously known as just Chervinia, which sits on the border of Switzerland, is considered the best ski resort in Italy for late season. Together with Val Tonanche and famous Zermatt, they share the Matterhorn Ski Paradise ski area, which is widely seen as the most beautiful ski area in the world. In this video, we will show you everything you need to know before planning a vacation to Chervinia. And if you stick around until the end of the video, you'll get some great tips that will help you make better decisions, save time and money. The closest airports to Chervinia are Turin, with a transfer time of 1 hour and 39 minutes, Milan Malpensa Airport with a transfer time of 2 hours and 7 minutes, and Geneva with a transfer time of 3 hours. Take note that a round trip crossing the Mont Blanc Tunnel will cost you 57 euros per car if you're coming from Geneva. Chervinia lies under the south face of what is perhaps the most iconic mountain in the world, the Matterhorn, aka Chervino, located at the highest spine of the Alps. The village is located at an altitude of 2,050 metres, nestled at the bottom of a large bowl capped by the Matterhorn Ridge to both the north and west, and the glacier on Plateau Rosa to the east. There are two main ski passes you can buy in Chervinia. Chervinia Valtonange Ski Pass, which includes the Italian side of the Matterhorn Paradise and consists of 150 connected kilometres of ski runs. It costs €230 Euros for six days and is recommended for beginners. For intermediates and advanced skiers, we recommend buying the International Ski Pass, which costs €290 Euros for six days and consists of 360 kilometres of connected ski runs and is worth every penny. The Swiss side is bigger, more diverse and absolutely beautiful. Here, you can visit the amazing pedestrian town of Zermatt. Take note, it is important to leave early in the morning and pay attention to the weather. Don't worry too much though, if you do happen to get stuck on the Swiss side during inclement weather or just because you've missed the last lift to Little Matterhorn, we've got a pre-prepared solution to that problem coming up at the end of this video. Together with Zermatt, Chervinia shares the largest glacier ski area in the world and the largest summer ski area in Europe. The snow even maintains its ski quality in April because of the high altitude and its big bowl serves as a huge reflector. So for all the northern people who want to tan quickly, Chervinia is an ideal location for late season skiing and good weather. Be aware though that Val Tonanche is closed on April 20th. This video was filmed after the closure of Val Tonanche. The main ski area of Chervinia is a little boring as there are almost no trees throughout the majority of it. Chervinia's runs are well groomed and great for beginners and intermediates, the best of which is run 7 from Rosa Plateau all the way down to Chervinia. This run stretches for 13 kilometers and features a vertical drop of almost 1,500 meters from the highest point in the Italian side to Chervinia itself. For snowboarders, there are lots of easy off-piste areas and an average snow park called Indian Snow Park. For free riders and advanced skiers, there's also heli ski here. You'll also find options for cross country skiing and many other winter activities. The town itself is quite boring with only a small pedestrian area. We recommend to enjoy your après ski at Dele Nevi. For an extra special Chervinia experience, if your evening is under the light of a full moon, plan to stay at Chalet Plantorete and ski back after dark under moonlight. To conclude, here are our ratings for Chervinia. These ratings are for the extended ski pass. For snowboarders, 8. Advanced skiers, 8. Intermediate skiers, 9.5. Beginners, 8.5. Freestylers, 7.5. Free riders, 
9. Nightlife 6. Après Ski 7. Resort Charm 7. Our total score for Chavinia is 8. Before we go, as promised, here are those bonus tips we talked about earlier. First up, if you end up stuck on the Swiss side, it's far better for your wallet to accept defeat and book yourself a room there for the night. Insisting on a cab back to Chervinia will cost you at least 500 euros and mean around 5 hours on the road. Top tip number 2. If you come with a car, it is cheaper to stay in Val Tonange. On days where you decide to ski to Zermatt, we recommend that you park at Chervinia because it will save you precious time that you'll need to properly explore the Swiss side. There are plenty of free parking options in Chervinia, but be aware and plan ahead on nice weekends as there can be traffic jams. If you like this video, you can watch our videos on Val Terenz, St. Anton and other ski resorts. You'll make our day if you push the like button. Better yet, why not subscribe for free to our channel? And don't forget to push the chime on the right, so every time we upload a video, you'll get a notification.